Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about singular and plural nouns. Let me tell you a story. Once there was a honey bee, one honey bee, going from one city to another. It traveled many cities and many gardens. And finally it saw one garden. It was beautiful with many flowers in it. It sat on a beautiful flower. It sat on one beautiful flower. But then the flower shut down. It shut its petals and the honey bee got stuck inside the flower. Soon all the honey bees, many honey bees came, opened the flower and let the honey bee out. So we learned about one honey bee, many honey bees, one garden, many gardens, one city, many cities. These are called singular nouns and plural nouns, one and many. Let's understand this further. Singular plural nouns. Singular means one of something, one honey bee. Plural means more than one, many honey bees. Now let's look at the rules of converting singular to plural. Rule 1 is the most basic rule for most of the nouns such as book, cat, school, words ending with regular consonants. We add S. So book will become books, many books, many cats and many schools. Rule number 2. Rule number 2 is noun ending with sound SH, CH, consonant X, consonant Z and consonant S. We will add ES. So any words that are ending with these sounds will become plural by adding ES at the end. For example, a punch with CH at the end will become punches. One punch, many punches. Bush, SH sound at the end will also become bushes. ES gets added. Quiz with Z consonant at the end will become quizzes. Box with consonant X at the end of the word will become boxes with ES added at the end. Now rule 3 is very important. It's for all the nouns ending with letter Y, consonant Y at the end. This rule has two parts. Consonant followed by Y. If the word has a consonant and then a Y at the end, such as dy, ry, gy, ty or ly. So any consonant followed by the y at the end of the word. And the second part of this rule talks about a vowel followed by y. So if the word has a vowel and then the consonant y. So oy, ay. So any words which will have y at the end and a vowel before that. And any word which has a Y at the end and a consonant followed. A consonant before Y. So, rules for such words with Y are different. Let's look at the first word. Story. Here there is a consonant R right before Y. So, in this case, consonant followed by Y, we will have IES. The Y will get kicked out and an IES will get added. So story will become stories. So this is a simple rule. If a consonant is followed by Y, for example R followed by Y, Y gets kicked out and IES gets added. So one story, many stories. Let's look at more examples for this rule. Fairy, one fairy, many fairies. There's a Y at the end of the word fairy. R is a consonant before Y. So Y gets kicked out and IES gets added. Another example, lady, one lady, many ladies. D is a consonant. Y gets kicked out, IES gets added. Family, 
L is a consonant. Y is at the end. Y gets kicked out and I, E, S gets added. So family, families. Now what happens when there's a vowel right before the Y? The rule says when there is a vowel followed by a Y, then we simply add an S. So in this case, toy, there is a vowel O in front of Y. So toy will become toys. Simple. Look at examples such as one key, many keys, E is a vowel in front of Y. So Y is not going to get kicked out. It's going to stay right there and S is getting added. So one key, many keys, one ray, many rays. Again, A is a vowel in front of Y. One boy, many boys. O is a vowel in front of Y. So Y stays and S gets added to convert singular to plural. Now let's practice the concept of singular and plural nouns further with our quiz.